Hi, Jim. Hey, how are you this morning? Good, how Hi. are you? I'm good. Good to talk to you again. Good to talk to you, too. And they were like, I was like, oh, Jim's a friend of mine. They were like, a real friend or a Twitter friend? I was like, both. It's all the same. All, that's what I said. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. <laughs> that's not real. It is real. <laughs> I have 17,000 It is real. Friends. Um, <laughs> We're close friends on a tweet? All right, let's talk about our movie. Okay. Let's talk about the movie. It's so cute. I just watched it. Um, oh, talk to me about chemistry. You guys have such a sweet chemistry. Is that something you had to work on, or did it just kind of click? I had to work on it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it took a long time. I, I don't even know if I... I'm glad that you think that it came across, because that was it was the hardest job I've ever had. Oh, my God. We no. were sleeping together the entire movie. I can't believe you just said that. No, we were really lucky. I, I, what, I, what I mean, I had to work really hard. Um, no, you know, I, I, that's kind of the thing you never know, especially with like a movie like this, because um, there's like no rehearsal time. We really didn't have any rehearsal time, and and Sarah and I didn't really we didn't know each other before we started working, and so um, it was great. It was just magic. Yeah, it, it worked. We we worked off our, each other really well, and and you know, I think we have a similar sensibility in like life and what we find funny, and you know, yeah. we find the same things funny, and that's always good when you're working with someone so we got lucky sort of we just we just hit it off yeah that's awesome and barry talk to me how you kind of modeled how to act packs because it could have come off kind of wacky and off kilter but it was really sweet and it worked do, do, do you spend a lot of time on that <laughs> not enough as not as much time as i wish i had on that um <laughs> you know it was difficult because you know my conversations with their director were he was already in Atlanta prepping and stuff like that, and I was in LA, so I was kind of on my own. So I, I don't think anybody at the network or the directors or the producer knew what I was gonna bring, and I kind of just sort of came up with packs like literally a week before um, I, I flew to Atlanta to start working. And so I was like, well, you know, this is kind of how I'm preparing the character. I hope everybody likes it. Um, so I was kind of, I was just kind of left on my own, and so I, you know, I'm, I'm glad it worked out. I hope it did. It, it was, did. It's, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It did, and you're so charming in it. And there's a childlike, there's like, you talk about this, about the, there being like a, a childlike quality to him, an innocence to him, because at the time where he's from, there's nothing bad happens. Everything's just very sort of one note yeah. and sterile and so Yeah, and, I, yeah, and I, thought, I thought that if I just kind of, um, you know, play him kind of like a child, like everything is a d discovery. Um, you know, um, no matter what it is, because you know everything is completely different in, in the uh, in the future, yeah, and so I mean everything he sees, he's curious about. It's it's like being a child. So it was a, it was so much fun to do. And that was fun for me because then all of my reactions off of him, it was like, it, it, you couldn't be mean to him. You couldn't because he's like a kid. It's like a little kid, you know. So it, it was right, really right. fun for us to sort of play with that. Yeah. Now, you know, it, it gives us a glimpse into the future where it sounds like emotions are really gone. Do you think, because we're so obsessed with electronics and things like Twitter and things, that it's helping our communication and uh, emotions, or is it getting in the way? I think it gets in the way, personally. I think it helps. She thinks it helps. I, I mean, you know, I can't, it's, it's hard to kind of walk down the street these days without people kind of glued to their, their smartphone or whatever it is, or even to be in a restaurant, I mean, uh, I'll sit in a restaurant and I'll see two couples and they're not even paying attention to each other. They're on, they're, I, they're, maybe they're communicating. Yeah, see, there you go. What? No, but I think it kind of hurts. I think it kind of hurts that kind of, you know, that uh, interaction. I, I was talking to somebody the other day about, you know, talking on the phone, like, hey, I'll give you a call. They're like, well, call me, just text me. I was like, no, I'll just give you a call. It'll be much easier. Mm -hmm. They're like, who calls anybody anymore? But um, I think that's really important to kind of have that still have that and so I'm one of the last people around that doesn't yeah I mean I was with you and then I got on Twitter and I have to say it's been really amazing to have that kind of communication with people that I normally wouldn't ever hear from or or you know right you know so that's cool I think like people plus, across the world I think there's the saying, pros and cons for yeah. it of course but you know yeah. it's all about a balance it's all about keeping your you know your close relationships and, and your family and everything still close with you and mm -hmm. keeping in touch and then also I think being able to reach out and like connect with people that you never normally would have. You know, I love hearing f on, over Twitter like from people yeah, halfway you, around the world. You enjoy having stalkers. It's not stalkers. <laughs> it's friends. Twitter friends. Friends. Okay. <laughs>
Anywho. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, and so in the movie, My Future Boyfriend, it's, it's one of those movies that if you are kind of feeling down on love, it does kind of renew your faith a little bit. And I wanted to know if you guys have like a particular favorite romantic movie that kind of always brings you back to earth when you're feeling a little down about your relationship or anything. I do. What is yours? When Harry met Sally. I was going to say that. You were. Oh, oh, gosh, I hate you. We can both have it. It All can right. be our special Well, no, because I was movie. thinking about that scene where she's having the uh, the orgasm scene. Oh. And that's in Katz's Deli. Yeah. In, in, in the Lower East Side. That's and so, so funny. And so I was thinking about Katz's Deli the other day because I was like, I want a pastrami sandwich. And I thought <laughs> that was not Sally for some what reason. I was thinking about at yeah. all. I was thinking about the scene where she goes, and I'm going to be 40. And he says, when? And she says, someday. <laughs> and it just always makes me laugh so much. Because I, I, that's sort of like, I don't know. I've been watching is, that I'm a movie sucker for, I'm a sucker for that movie, too. That's funny. I love that God, movie. So, you and I. I yeah. know. It's unbelievable. We have something. Wow. Mm. I bet you and, and Kevin, I bet you and Kevin don't have that. No, we don't have that. He doesn't care for romantic comedies at all. Hmm. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. uh, so talk to me about love. Do you guys think you can control who you fall in love with? Because that's a big part of the movie, too. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Do you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think okay. you can. I think it just kind of... Uh... Just happens, but you know. But I don't know if Pax was really kind of thinking like, "Oh, I'm in love with this girl." No, because he I, doesn't know what it is. Yeah, it just sort of yeah happens. I mean, I think the movie's about trusting your gut. It's an inst he has an instinctual reaction. There's something he needs to know. He needs to meet this woman. He needs to find out about this stuff, and that's his sort of drive. And then for Elizabeth, she's used to dealing with these sort of whack jobs, and she thinks he's one of them. But there's something about him that draws her in that makes her want to really get to know him as opposed to keeping him at arm's length which she's used to doing with people that she talks to in her work so I think the movie's about you know trusting your gut and and allowing yourself to feel the feelings that you're feeling as opposed to pressing them down you have little hands All right, well, Sarah, I have little hands oh, I talk Sorry. with my hands a lot. Her hands are so little, I just noticed. They're, I never noticed that when we were they're working. They're not that little. They're little. They're little itty bitty. They're, no, it's great. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Well, thanks so much for your time, and um, I'll spread the word about the movie. It airs this weekend. Please do. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Talk to you on Twitter, I'll tweet Sarah. I'll you, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.